Hi everyone, this is Diane. When I did a tour of my uh, craft room a little while back, I alluded to my binders and I said that I would get into the binders in a little more detail in a separate video. So I'm finally getting around to do that. Um, these are the binders and I will start with this great big one. This is a three inch binder. Um, this is the one I use for bits and pieces. Um, when you have scrapbook um, collections, you often have cutouts or punch outs and uh, leftover pieces. Um, I often have leftover Cricut cutouts, or if I'm doing a stamped project, I might stamp some things and then not use them and have those left over. And sometimes when I just want to play and don't have a project, don't really want to get involved in a project, I'll just... Um, make things with my Cricut. I'll just get out the cartridges and decide on what images would be fun to make and just make a bunch of images and have them to store. So this is how I store them. In this binder, I go to the comic book store and I get these protective sleeves and you can get them in different sizes. The sheets, the, the full page is the same size, but the pockets on them are different sizes. This is the one that has two pockets. This has a bunch of K and Company um, things, just cut out pieces that you can buy like that. So this one, this one holds the larger pieces. This one has four pockets, and this one has some Cricut images in it. And some of the pockets are empty because I used some of the images that I had made from that cartridge collection. And then this is the one that has nine pockets. So this one holds the little little pieces. For the rest of the book, I have the nine pages, the mine, nine pocket pages first, and then the larger, you know, the larger images as we go back into the book. So this just has just various pieces, leftover scraps that I think would be good on a collage or in, on any image or any page or project, tags, Cricut things. Um, this is a stamped domino that I cut out. I have a set of stamps of dominoes. Uh, I have a ticket punch. Punches two parts of the ticket and you put them together. So I did a bunch of them one day and different pattern paper and stuck them in there. So, and then these are just um, some tags that came with some Stampin' Up! stuff a long time ago. Punch out tags. So, <clears throat> little pieces go in these pockets. And then this one has um, six pockets, so they're the longer, thinner things. So I have a bunch of things stored in those pockets. Arrows, I like to use arrows in projects. So with my Cricut, sometimes I just have various um, cartridges that have different kinds of arrows. So I just cut out a bunch of arrows and save them. And when I need an arrow, I go in there and see what I have. Some, well, what's that stuff called? <laughs> cardboard stuff, punch out things, and then more of the two pocket pages with larger images and bigger arrows, and then I even have the solid, the full page, and this pocket has just a bunch of scraps of Tim Holtz and Graphic 45 type of paper that I think would be good in collages, and then this one has some Seven Gypsies paper just scraps, and then some just larger pieces that I could cut up and use in any project. So when I'm doing a project, I go through this binder and pull out things that might work on that particular project and have them handy with me as I work. The next binder, I think that might be a two inch binder. This one has journaling cards. Most of these I got from the internet. I just printed them. They're, they're free printables. So and you can find a lot of free printables on Pinterest. So I just printed and cut a lot of journaling things. This one I actually made on my computer with my word program. It says favorite books. So I have just a few things that I made that I stuck in here, but most of them I printed from the internet. These are some that I used my stamps and made cards with, with my rubber stamps. So I have a lot of journaling cards. These are from scrapbook papers. 
So that's where the journaling cards are. And then this one, I save my strips of paper. Because sometimes you just need a strip of paper to make a border or to cut out a little um, fishtail pennant to decorate things with or whatever. Um, so I saved my strips and I had them all in a box and it was really, really hard when I got so many of them that it was hard to find what I might want. So I just used the full page protectors and just put strips in there. So when I need a strip, I just open this up. Something catches my eye, I pull it out. So there's that. I also have this little box, this little tiny shoe box from one of my grandsons. And this has a lot of little pieces, leftover bits, things that I think I can make journaling cards with. I've mentioned that I do enjoy making journaling cards. This has um, some recipe card tabs that I think I can make journaling cards with. So I just have bits of ledger paper and just little scraps that I think would be good on a journaling card. So that's what all this is. So then one time when I just, one day when I feel like playing, and instead of working on a big project, I just want to do little things. I can make a bunch of journaling cards. So that's what I do with all my bits and pieces. And, and um, I'll discuss more of the process when I show my scrapbook pages and things. But I also wanted to show you this. My church was giving out, was giving away all the old flannel graph. If, you're, if you used to go to Sunday school, you may be familiar with flannel graph. It's the pictures, the characters and things from the Bible that have uh, flocking on the back and they would stick to the flannel board as the teacher told the story. So they were giving these away. They had boxes of folders that had all these flannel graph characters and I took a few of the folders and so I wanted to show them just because I don't really know what I'm going to do with them and I thought if anybody has any awesome ideas I would love to hear them. Um, so I have quite a few sets. I have Daniel in the lion's den here. But what was really cool was these dividers that were in the box. I've never seen anything like these. It's a heavy manila folder. It's just, it's not a folder actually, it's just a divider. And they had the alphabet on the tabs. And then in the bottom, there's a metal ring. Apparently they slid through something that held them in place. So I thought these would be awesome in a junk journal. I could cut it down here and bind this in a book and tie some fibers on the ring, use the alphabet edges. So I'm going to have a lot of fun with these in the junk journals that I make. But I would like to hear what if anybody has ideas on what to do with some of these flannel graph pieces. I can use these envelopes that they came in in a junk journal. So um, just... If you have any ideas, let me know and tell me what you think about my binding system. I know it might seem complicated to some of you, but that's how it works for me. And I would like to know what you think of that, if it was helpful at all to you or if you have better solutions. And I will be back very soon with some smash books because I've been making a lot of books, trying to use up some of my supplies. So I'll be showing them to you very soon. Have a good day, everyone. Bye-bye.